years ago, our world changed forever. My mum had a brain hemorrhage at home. This led to her suffering 60% brain damage, whilst also suffering a stroke. She is now permanently paralysed from the neck down and requires around the clock care. I was 17 at the time, Rachel was 23 and Jodie was just 8. I remember Jodie running down the stairs saying, you've got to help mum. I called the ambulance. I knew something was wrong. I rushed upstairs to find mum on the landing. She handed me the house phone. Hello, this is an operator. An ambulance has been called. I asked mum where the pain was and she said, it's my head. Mum was taken straight to hospital and after a CT scan, she told me herself that she had suffered a brain hemorrhage. Following a procedure, the early signs were good. Jodie even got into bed with mum and they were laughing hysterically as she couldn't pronounce the word aubergine. Then we received a call which said she was showing signs of confusion and had been moved to intensive care. She was put into an induced coma. We were then told the emergency surgery hadn't worked as well as they'd hoped. It was a roller coaster for everybody. We travelled for two hours a day to visit mum. When she was unconscious, we played her favourite music through headphones and talked to her normally. Just so she would know that we were there. We kept begging her to wake up. Eventually she woke up. At times she would simply look straight through you as if she didn't sense that you were there. Things were really hard. Mum collapsed on the 4th of January and then without warning, Dad was made redundant on the 19th of Jan. Mum was still on life support, so this was another blow, another pressure. It was such a blur. After Dad was made redundant, he spent all day with Mum at the hospital, from 8am to 9pm every day. After a few weeks, she was transferred to a rehabilitation hospital near her home. Eventually, she would need to be moved to a specialist care home. Then you just felt guilty. This was just the worst time. With Mum hospitalised and Dad being made redundant, we lost our family home. Another devastating blow. Mum had another bleed to the brain. Then, she contracted sepsis. We nearly lost her that time. And it's just a constant battle against infections. Mum eventually came home to a new rental property, but things were not plain sailing. Dad had been made redundant again, but we were told we could get financial help. They said this process should take weeks, not months. We were so close to the end of a long tunnel. We couldn't risk her going back into the care system. So we did a GoFundMe page to help towards all our costs. One day, I saw a number on my phone. The call was from my mum's old boss. He wanted to help and had contacted the Electrical Industries charity on our behalf. He asked me to call the charity. Without a doubt, that was the most life-changing call of my life. The charity said there were a couple of things they could do immediately for us. They then said that they had an idea which could really help our family. They wanted to buy mum and dad a house. There's no way that anyone can get eight years of their life back. But what the EIC have done for my family have made the rest of our lives so much better. We can create new memories and not have to worry. When I told my dad, he couldn't speak. He and my mum won't just have a house, they'll have a home. Even after eight years and after everything we've been through, I've never seen my dad cry tears of relief. They have empowered us as a family. Dad is already a different person and we now know what it would feel like to win the lottery. Even if you don't feel like you want to share your story, there is somebody there who can help you. Be honest about your situation, because if we hadn't have been, we wouldn't be where we are today. Electrical Industries Charity. Supporting our people through life's challenges.